Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Lenas. You are now watching More Than 20 Days to Jam, a series containing more than 20 episodes which covers all the topics in Jam syllabus. Each episode comprises detailed class, questions, and homework. The questions and homework are from the Flash Lenas Jam application. This makes the app a requirement for this class. Visit Google Play Store or flashlearners.com to get the app. Do you have trust issues? Reach me on any of my social handles for activation guide or inquiries. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. This is episode number 22 of the 120 days to jump physics with Flash IZ. In this episode, we are going straight to calculations under equilibrium of forces. The first question here, of course, gotten from the Flash Learners Jam application. You can get one for yourself when you visit flashlearners.com. You see installation options and other helpful applications. The diagram shows a uniform meter rule which balances horizontally at 90 centimeter mark when a mass of 0.2 kg is suspended from B. Calculate the mass of the meter rule. So this is the ninth edge like this. And we have a mass suspended at the end. And this mass is 0.2 kg. What is moment? Moment is equals force times perpendicular distance. Take note of that. The distance must be like this. If the force is here, the distance should be here. If the force is here, the distance should be here. They should be at 90 degrees. That is the only point where you take moment. From here, we are told that the meter rule balances at 90 centimeter mark. It means this is the meter rule, but the balance point is 19 centimeter mark. And if you look at here, the maximum number in the uniform meter rule is 100 cm. And this meter rule is balancing in 90, which means from here to here is 90. 90 watt centimeter. Or in other words, yes, from here to here is 90. Or this point here is 90. If from here to here is 90 centimeter, and for a uniform meter rule, you have 100 cm. It simply means that from here to here to the end is remaining 10 centimeter. We are told to calculate the mass of the meter rule. Mass of the meter rule. Calculating mass of meter rule takes us back to center of gravity center of gravity what is center of gravity center of gravity is the point where the resultant weight of objects act and there are some objects that have constant center of gravity example is meter rule if you have a meter rule what do you think is the balance point of the meter rule where does the weight of a meter rule act? The weight of a meter rule acts at the middle. And what is the middle of a meter rule? The middle of a meter rule is 50 centimeter, which means here yeah, is where the weight of the meter rule is at. Which means from here to here is 50 centimeter for a meter rule. And if here to here is 50, it also means here to here is 50. So we have 50, we have 50. Meter rule is balanced. That is the balance point of a meter rule, the middle. Then, food is ready. What you need to know is that for there to be equilibrium, the clockwise moment should be equals anti-clockwise. Now, take a look at something very, very important. Something very, very 
important. Yeah, we've gotten all the parameters we need and we know what to do. But there is a big error we'll be making. A very big error we'll be making. A very big blunder we'll be committing. What is the blunder? You dare not compare weight and mass. The weight of the system is at the 50 centimeter mark weight. But what is acting here is mass. So mass and weight is not supposed to be compared or balanced. Either we change weight to mass to be mg or we change this mass to weight so that we are balancing weight and weight. And what will be easier for us is converting this mass to weight. Weight is equals mg. Therefore, 0 0.2 times 10, that is 2 newton. So here is 2 newton. 0 0.2 kg is 2 newton. So in this point, weight here in newton and weight here in newton are what we are comparing or what we are balancing. Please take note of that technical information. What makes people feel physics is this little little mistakes, little little errors, little little observation not observed. If here is true, then food is ready for us because we've agreed that here to here is 50. If here to here is 50 and here to here we agree that it is 10, which is this 10 cm. 50 cm, it therefore means that from here to here is 40 cm because 40 cm plus 10 cm is 50 cm. Moment is force times perpendicular distance. So for this weight or for this force, weight is also a force. Take note of that. This is a force and the distance is perpendicular 90 degrees. For this force, the distance is perpendicular. 90 degrees and the sum of clockwise moment should be equals sum of anti-clockwise clockwise should be equals anti-clockwise so the sum of forces acting this way should be equals not acting this way because we are putting this on top of here to maintain balance force here must be equals force here otherwise it will move towards one side which we are trying to avoid taking this moment about a moment must be taken about the ninth edge because this is the balance point like this. So it will be taken about this point. For this weight, the moment is the weight times 40. Force times distance. Nothing here, no force here acting. So we move to the other part. This should be equals 2 times 10. Force times perpendicular distance. From here to this edge is 10 cm. So we are taking the moment about that point. This obviously gives us 40 W is equals 20. Weight is equals 20 over 40. This is equals 1 over 2. Newton. Ladies and gentlemen, don't just see that and rush to pick 1 over 2. In fact, it's not even in the option. But sometimes 1 over 2, which is 0 0.5, will be in the option. This is weight. The question says, calculate the mass of the metal room. You are calculating mass and not weight. So in physics, learn to listen to instruction or learn to read instruction carefully. Don't rush. This is the reason why scholars fail physics. They just see this, they pick answer, bah, pick answer, pick answer without reasoning. Fallacy. So weight is equals mass times gravity. And Mass is weight over gravity. What is weight? 0 0.5. And what is gravity? 10. This is equals 0 0.05 kilogram. Because 0 0.5 is 5 over 10 divided by 10. This is the same thing as 5 over 10 times 1 over 10. This is the same thing as 5 over 100. And that is 0 0.05 kilogram, which makes option A the correct option. Let's see the next question. A force is applied 
at the end of Q to a bar PQ, pivoted at P, C diagram. The torque produced by the force about the point, about the pivot, is greater, greatest when theta is dash. Anywhere an option or sin theta appears, the force will be greatest if theta is equals 90 degrees. Because the maximum value of sin theta you get is 1. And the maximum value of cos theta you can get biggest is 1 as well. Now, if the question is ends in sin theta, then theta has to be 90 degrees to have the maximum force. If the stop ends in cos theta, theta has to be 0 degrees to give us maximum whatever. But from this thing, this is what I can see. I can see something like this. And I can see something like this, incline. And I can see an angle here, theta. And I can see a force acting like this. This is a tonic force. And from here to here is distance. If I look at this, this angle is up. I can bring this angle down to have something like this, theta. Of course, if I have something like this, and this force is here, F, my moment about this point is, moment is supposed to be force times distance, perpendicular distance. So I need to have something like this. This distance like this, and force like this. How do I achieve something like this? To achieve that, I should be able to resolve this distance to the vertical like this, to bring the distance to this point. If I bring this distance to this point, and I'm making use of this angle here to the horizontal, I will simply have distance sine theta. Distance sine theta will resolve this distance to the vertical, and this force will return and come here. So that will give us force times a sine theta. That is the moment or the torque turning effect. So if this is F sin theta, the, the force about the point will be greatest when theta is 90 degrees. That will give you force times F times sin 90 degrees. This is FA because sin 90 degrees is 1. Anything above or less, you have 0 point something. And that will reduce the force. That makes option C. The correct option. This is what we are given. And we are asked to calculate the mass of the bar, which implies that we should find the value of this m. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not new to something like this. We saw this in the previous question. With this, we know that the moment is about this, it's always about the knife edge. And here, only one mass is acting. Here, only one mass is acting, which means this is trying to balance this. 22 grams is acting at this distance. At this distance. So what is this distance? If from here to here is 10 cm, and from here to here is 50 cm, and from here to here is 60, why from here to here is 50? It therefore means that from here to here is 10 cm. If everything here is 60, here is 10, so that 10 plus 50 cm will give you 60 cm. And if from here to here is 50 cm, it means that from here to here, from here to here is 40 cm. Because from here to here, is 10. And if from here to here is 40 cm and from here to here is 10 cm, it means the remaining part here to the knife edge is 30 cm. So ladies and gentlemen, we've gotten our perpendicular distance. About this side, it is 22 grams times 30. This should balance m times 10. The reason we are not converting this time around is that we have mass here and we have mass here. 
So they are the same. We are balancing masses. That will give you m is equals 22 times 30 over 10. This is the same thing as 22 times 3. That is equals. The diagram shows a plant, ROS, pivoted at the center of gravity. We are basically dealing with something like this. ROS and at the center of gravity. Which means it is balanced because they say that O is in equilibrium with the weights P and Q. It's in equilibrium with the weights P and Q. There is weight here P and there is weight here Q. So this is balanced. If a weight of 2P is added to P, so there is P here, a weight P is increased. The plant will be in equilibrium again by a dash. Now, the plant was balanced like this because P was equals Q. They were the same. And the distance were the same. Now, P is increased. P is increased. Increasing P means that this thing will be out of equilibrium because the weight will be like this. It will turn this way. It will be going this way. So what should we do to make this thing balance again? We have two options. One, to increase Q by 2Q. When we increase Q by 2Q, because we increased P by 2P, both the weight or the force will be balanced. That is option one. But if looking at this, we cannot increase Q, what we simply do is that we push P towards Q. We, we push this thing this way. As we push it this way, this distance will be greater than this distance. If this distance is far, far greater than this distance, there is a chance that this force times this distance will be equal to this. Because the bigger distance will increase the moment entirely. And as the moment of Q increases and you're reducing the distance of P, the moment of P will be reducing. So with that, we can balance this force again. So out of all the options, moving P nearer to O, we solve it. This is O. So we move P nearer to O, not actually nearer to P. That is the correct option. So ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of this episode. Get your flash Nash Jam application and play with questions. So who much is given, much is expected. See you in the next episode, which is the last dance of equilibrium of forces.